Well, about 40 years ago today, Mount St. Helens erupted. It is the most destructive volcanic eruption in U.S. history, destroying 200 miles of land and killing 57 people. Now, since then, Mount St. Helens has taught us a lot about volcanoes and how the region can rebound. John Hopperstedt has more. We're looking at another active volcano in our area, Mount Rainier, though it's been in and out of the clouds today. We do know that researchers have used what happened at St. Helens to predict and prepare for an inevitable eruption here at Mount Rainier. We've also spoken with a researcher who has been at Mount St. Helens for 40 years since just after it erupted. His name is Charlie Crisofoli. He now works for the Forest Service, but in 1980, he was an ecology major in college who flew in a helicopter into the landscape just after Mount St. Helens blew. He says it was like landing on the moon. The destruction immense. He didn't think anything could survive, but right away, he saw signs of life. Vegetation coming up through the rubble, evidence of gophers and frogs still in the area and alive. And he continued to study the resurgence of life in what he calls a living laboratory. I'm taking this anniversary as a time to, to really think about the lessons learned from this volcano, to view it as a teacher on how our natural systems respond to these big catas cataclysmic events that are so profoundly alter the forest that we think of as iconic in the Pacific Northwest. Charlie says the discovery of life just after the eruption created a new foundation in his field, what he calls the role of biological legacies. Life, he says, is tenacious. Life will persist. He also says what they've learned at St. Helens is helping other countries and how they deal with agriculture and water quality and forestry as well. He's getting set to retire after 40 years this summer, but he says there's plenty of researchers and young scientists to take up the cause. In Seattle, John Hopperstead, Q13 News. And according to the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, these are the volcanoes in our state with seismic activity in the past 30 days. Mount St. Helens with the most at 41 earthquakes, then Rainier with 27 and Baker with one. Mount Adams and Glacier Peak haven't had any recent activity.